Hello and welcome to another episode of our monthly update on Siebel CRM updates. On July 16th, Oracle dropped the seventh update for Siebel 22, and this will prove to be a quite memorable one for all the good reasons. With Siebel CRM Update 22.7, the Task UI framework gets its long awaited and well deserved promotion into the ranks of workspace enabled repository objects. Along with the ability to develop and test tasks and related objects in parallel, similar to the developer experience with workflow processes since 20.7, comes a brand new task flow editor for Siebel Web Tools. Siebel loyalty is regularly popping up in the new feature section, this time with the addition of effective dating fields for loyalty points. Other notable changes are improvements for the Web Tools Flow Editor for workflow processes and tasks alike, and the update of Tomcat binaries to version 9.0.63. Let's discuss some details about the workspace enablement for the Task UI framework. If you update a pre-22.7 environment to 22.7 or higher, the post-install database update utility, which is run as part of the SES update once per environment, takes care of upgrading all relevant areas of the Siebel database and repository so that tasks and related object types can be developed within workspaces. The result is very similar to what happened to workflow processes in 20.7 or higher. Task flows and related object types, such as task groups, now support full parallel development. Developers can use the application's inspect feature to test changes to tasks before delivering. Task activation is now driven by the inactive flag in the design repository which means that automated or manual activation of tasks in the RR environments after a full or incremental migration is no longer necessary. The new runtime table S underscore RR underscore task holds the compiled task definitions and, as is the case with any runtime repository content, the migration application ensures transportation of the data to higher environments. In other good news, and again, similar to the workflow framework, so-called cross-version migration is supported for tasks as well. That means if your development environment is on 22.7 and higher, while your test or production environments are on 22.6 or below, both the incremental and full migration processes ensure that the correct artifacts are deployed. Siebel Web Tools leaps closer to the Oracle proclaimed goal of Siebel Tools independence with the addition of the browser based task editor, allowing task developers to choose between the standalone Siebel Tools version or the new browser experience. No surprises there, as the functionality is, like in classic Siebel Tools, very similar to the workflow process editor. One improvement will be most welcome namely the ability to vertically resize the multi-value property window, MVPW. This improvement applies to the web versions of the already established workflow process editor, as well as the brand new task editor. The changes introduced to web tools and workspaces with the Siebel CRM 22.7 update are a good reason for a quick fact check. Let's arrange a friendly stare down of Siebel tools versus web tools we can see that Web Tools has gained significantly with 22.7, only lagging behind in a few areas, such as limitations in the Applet Layout Editor, Object Wizards, and the Properties window. Of course, if we expand the list to include Siebel Tools features that are currently unavailable in Web Tools, we still find quite a lot of items. As of 22.7, several key development tasks still require developers to use Siebel Tools such as edit and apply schema object types, compare objects, generate JDB or JCA code artifacts for integration objects or business services, edit web pages or screen hierarchies graphically. If we look at the shrinking list of objects outside of workspaces, we can see that after an update to 22.7, only two areas of the repository are not supporting workspaces 
and therefore are not supporting parallel development. The first area includes all schema-related object types and their child types, such as tables, EIM interface tables, workflow policy objects, assignment objects, and doc objects. The second area is the open UI manifest. Outside of the repository, the only workspace-enabled artifact so far is list of values, LOV. Anything else, as of July 2022, is still managed in the traditional ways, including administrative data, web artifacts such as open UI JavaScript files, configuration files, and enterprise configuration data. If you're curious to know what Oracle's near-term strategy for these and other areas of Siebel CRM would be, remember that Oracle publishes their plans for future Siebel CRM releases in the Statement of Direction document, which is available on My Oracle Support. Time will tell what the future holds for web tools and workspaces. What we know is that Siebel CRM 22.7 is a great release that clearly shows Oracle's commitment to Siebel CRM. Let's review the mandatory and optional steps for a successful update to the latest Siebel release. First, it's highly recommended to make a backup of the entire environment and the database that you're intending to update. Then the modular deployment engine, MDE, needs to be run. It'll lay down the new files to disk. If your Siebel version is 21.1 or older, you'll also get a topology update to the MDE's unified directory structure. This applies to any enterprise server component such as AI, Siebel server, or gateway. It's also mandatory to run the post-install database update, which can be run automatically as part of the MDE or manually after the MDE is finished copying the binaries. This has to be executed once per database and applies schema changes and imports seed data and open UI manifest data into the target database. Make sure to check the post install db update HTML report and the log files and rerun in case of errors before you continue. There are also optional steps which might or might not be applicable to your situation. The repository upgrade utility is optional. It can be run only against a development database. It should be run only if you intend to uptake the so called non mandatory changes made by Oracle. The repository upgrade utility will import schema changes, import seed data, and open UI manifest data, as well as create a developer workspace under an integration workspace named int underscore Siebel underscore update. In this developer workspace, the repository upgrade utility imports the repository artifacts. Developers can then inspect and test the Oracle manufactured objects and subsequently deliver them into your main branch or your any integration branch. The release notes contain configuration instructions which you might have to apply in your development environment if necessary. There are known issues reported in the release notes as well, so make sure you understand and apply the workarounds if necessary. And finally, there's a bunch of non-repository administrative changes which you might have to take care of. The complete update process with all required and optional steps in green and gray respectively is depicted on the diagram. Here we can see the update process for development environments where the fast track to a successful update is as follows. Take a backup, run the MDE, run the post install database update. If you have no repository upgrades, configuration instructions or administrative changes to implement, you're done. If you need to execute the non-mandatory repository upgrade or apply configuration instructions, you have to do that in the development environment and test and deliver these changes. If you have any administrative changes on your to-do list, you have to implement them as well before declaring success. The same is true for test or production, also known as RR environments, where the update process is a little shorter. The mandatory steps are the same. Back up your environment, run MDE, run post install database update. If there's nothing else to do, you're done. Of course, you have to repeat the update process for every Siebel instance. 
If the DR update included repository changes, you have to use the migration application to deploy the new and updated artifacts from the development environment to the runtime environment. Similar to the DR environment, you might have some administrative changes on your checklist that you need to execute before declaring the update complete. What if your Siebel CRM version is Innovation Pack 16 or older? Let's take a look at the path for an upgrade from a version prior to Innovation Pack 17 to the latest and greatest release. If your current Siebel CRM version is below IP17, you find yourself in the lower portion of the diagram. This means that you have to conduct an upgrade project to get to the latest Siebel release. The duration of a Siebel CRM upgrade project is measured in person months, sometimes person years. The project complexity and duration are tightly coupled to the number of customizations you have applied over the years and also to the age of your Siebel application. In a nutshell, the more time and money was spent on customizing Siebel, the more time and money will have to be spent on the upgrade. If you come from a very old Siebel release, such as Siebel 7.5, you have to execute a two-step upgrade. One-step upgrades are supported from 7.8 up to 8.2. Upgrades from these ancient releases also require a migration from the ActiveX-driven High Interactivity Client to Siebel OpenUI. If you're on a younger version, such as Innovation Pack 13 to 16, you're on the incremental repository merge IRM track, which is still a lengthy process but much more streamlined. You might not even have to migrate to OpenUI as you're already using it. Upgrade projects are conducted using an installation of latest Siebel CRM release available at the time you start the project. If you already ran a successful Siebel upgrade to IP17 or higher, you no longer have to run a lengthy, costly upgrade project. To get from a post-IP17 release to the latest available update, you only have to execute the aforementioned update process. The real benefit of Oracle's continuous release model is evident here, as the update process will at most take a few person days. Are you planning to update or upgrade to the latest Siebel release and are in need of more information on what changes you have to expect? Look no further. You're watching a monthly update summary provided by the Siebel Hub and Black Sheep IT Consulting, which is part of a playlist that provides you with detailed summaries of all continuous release updates going back to 18.7. Check the video description for a link to the playlist. If you or your team require up-to-date training for Siebel 22, be it a What's New workshop for experienced staff or foundational training for onboarding Siebel CRM developers or administrators, the Siebel Hub Learning Experience got you covered. You find a link to the Siebel Hub training page in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.